Sky Force 10 here live above Center City tonight. There are still some fans, not a lot, they're heading home, but a few celebrating. It's mostly been a peaceful and calm night. South Broad Street is still closed to traffic. About 9.45 tonight, crowds started to get a little out of hand. You can see the Philadelphia Police Department walking the crowds back and really trying to get people out of the area by that time. Yeah, NBC 10's Leah Uko joins us live from the Art Museum. And Leah, you were right in the thick of things after the game, weren't you? That is exactly where I like to be, especially during times like this. Listen, the fans were nothing but good to us. For all of you watching at home, we thank you for that. We put on a good, good post-game celebration, live television pro uh, broadcast, because fans, so nice, so generous, and so genuinely authentic. I would have to say the fans out here are incomparable to other fans I've seen across the country. And uh, for everyone who wasn't there, you just had to be. But if not, that's why we got you covered. Take a look. I really know what we talk about. It's a Philly thing. It's a Philly thing. You can't, you can't just take everything like the heart. You got to relax. You got to, it's a Philly thing. Nothing will ever be Philly sports. Nothing. Their strong finish and dominance over the 49ers might have surprised some people, but not Eagles fans. Their confidence in this team, with the best record in the NFL this season, never wavered. I told y'all all year, Jalen Hurts, he the truth. Miles Sanders, he the truth. Everybody is the truth. We were born for this. We were literally born for this. We're going to the Super Bowl. Some 68,000 people left Lincoln Financial Field following the championship game and packed surrounding streets in South Philly. Celebrating Eagles beating the Niners 31 to 7. We're going to score regardless. The defense keep doing what they're doing and we straight. That's it. For Philly, this journey to the Super Bowl is more than just football. It's once in a lifetime sometimes. You never know when it's going to happen again. When it comes to stuff like this, football, basketball, anything, we're all family. There's a lot of people don't understand Philadelphia, but I think uh, we just give them everything that they want plus more. Uh, we're hungrier than the most, I think, because uh, Philly's really gritty. And fans have their fingers crossed. They will take this win all the way. And uh, back out here live outside the museum, Rocky statue standing shiny and pretty as it should, as you all made a, a, might have seen over the weekend. Uh, opposing team, 49ers fans, covered that statue with a shirt. Now, this isn't the first time this season an opposing team, fans of an opposing team have done this, but in every time they disrespected this tradition, that opposing team lost. So mm. maybe the Chiefs can come on by before the Super Bowl, huh? Anyway, send it back to you in the studio. We are reporting live outside the Art Museum in Center City. Leah Uko, NBC10. All right, thank you, Leah. Got to be respectful. Leah, thanks. Taking another live look from Skyforce 10. Just what a difference from a few hours ago when thousands filled the streets. Yeah, big difference. NBC10's Brian Sheehan continues our live team coverage. He's along Broad Street tonight in Center City. Brian. Yeah, Johnny and Francis, the crowds have dispersed. Now the cleanup is underway. We have seen a few stragglers making their way home or maybe they're headed to another bar. It took Philadelphia police about 30 to 40 minutes to clear South Broad Street after an epic three-hour party honoring our Super Bowl-bound Eagles. For the second time in three months, Philadelphia celebrated on Broad Street. Oh my God! Eagles fans, thousands of them spilled out of bars and restaurants in Center City Sunday night after the Birds won the NFC Championship and punched their ticket to Super Bowl 57. Great win, great win. We did it! As a Philadelphian, as like as a whole, we are so excited. We are so pumped. I don't I literally don't even know how to act right now. While some climbed shoulders, others scaled light poles and stood atop newsstands despite best efforts by Philadelphia police to deter unacceptable behavior. Most just came out to dance, cheer, and party with friends and strangers and commemorate yet another monumental moment in our city's sports history. This is what Philly needs right now. This is what Philly deserves. Personally, I would like to marry Jalen Hurts. Because even though so much divides us, in this town, 
our sports teams always bring us together. I love the Eagles, man. That's my city right here, man. I love them, y'all. Let's go. And now the party continues as the birds and the faithful get ready for the second Super Bowl in five years. We deserve to be here. Yeah. We're the best fans in America. We deserve yeah. to be here. Eagles fans help to throw a bigger, more epic party two weeks from now. What a time to be in Philadelphia, guys. We're live on South Broad Street. I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News. All right, thank you, Brian. Super Bowl 57 is set. So what are ticket prices to the game going to cost you? And what about those flights? We'll have that story coming up. Plus, Philly, getting used to these parties. We'll go back to Center City for the Eagles trip to the Super Bowl celebration. Plus, a Big Apple big mistake, a tribute to the birds in New York City as social media on fire tonight. Excited fans there in Ridley, Delaware County, and all over the Philadelphia yeah, region representing. for sure. Yeah, but New York City may be one of Philadelphia's biggest sporting rival cities. Yet the Big Apple actually showed some support tonight for the city of brotherly love. The Empire State Building was lit up in green and white in honor of the Eagles NFC Championship game win. Shortly after the game went final, this picture was posted on the Empire State Building's Twitter account with the caption, Fly, Eagles, fly. We're going green and white in honor of the Eagles' NFC Championship victory. Not sure the favor, though, Johnny would have been returned if it was the other way yeah, around. I don't know about that. All right, knowing the Eagles are heading to the Super Bowl in Glendale, Arizona in two weeks, you may be wondering how much it will cost to catch the game in person at State Farm Stadium. Well, looking live over Philadelphia International Airport, AAA expects flights to Phoenix out of Philadelphia to range between 500 to more than 1,000 bucks, depending on when you're trying to leave. And we were able to find flights with Frontier leaving Philly Friday, February 10th, for just over 100 bucks. The catch, you're looking at nearly a seven-hour layover overnight in Denver. Right now, a nonstop flight to Phoenix on the 10th is $369 on Frontier. And if you thought tickets for today's NFC Championship game were expensive, you might want to sit down before we show you the Super Bowl ticket prices. Ticketmaster, the official ticket sponsor for Super Bowl 57, and moments after the Eagles clinched their Super Bowl berth, we found the cheapest, the cheapest ticket on the site, north of $5,800, and that's just for a seat in the stadium. Of course, you're still going to have to find a way to get there and hotel accommodations as well. Now to the Mayfair section of Philadelphia. It is known for celebration, whether it's the Phillies or the Eagles, the folks head out to Frankfurt and Cotman Avenues. Yeah, NBC 10's Karen Wall spent the day and night in Mayfair. Frankfurt and Cotman was electric all night long as people came spilling out of those bars. Okay, we just lost. Kara got lost Go in the sea of fans there again. All right. Send the smallest reporter to the largest crowd. That's right. All right. Let's